Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for rejoining me here in Kai's Rock, playing as... Romania. So last time we had a good time preparing for a potential invasion of Hungary, and we're sabotaging the railways. Now we have quite a few comments to get through, but right now we are in 1938, October 7th, waiting to go to war with those evil Hungarians who desperately try to destroy any sort of semblance of Romanian unification. Yes, that'd be good. We gotta do that, so we can do this as well. Uh, first comment. So, someone recommended yesterday that when we are fighting the Reichspact, and we win eventually, someday, we should take Odessa, as well as this area probably, or western, uh, Ukraine. Maybe even Veneza? Maybe? We just need to take Bessarabia, what would be Bessarabia, what we would call that. Um, right now, let's grab one of these guys. Alliance from Albania. So, news has come from the Albanian delegation, apparently. They seek to form an alliance with us. While we have been the first nation to recognize independence during the Weltkrieg, Albania is not a nation strong enough to help assist us in any potential conflicts. And though, uh, the fact remains that any aid in our favor could prove to be a smart choice down the line, though. What should we say? Sure. Oh, expand the fortifications? Good. Let's go ahead and grab this. Listen to the Marasat Mar Marasti and the Marasetsti. The war against the Central Powers are riddled with Romanian tactical victories despite our enemies' a strategic victory. The battles of M and M are the greatest example of Romanian skill and bravery in the face of overwhelming odds. We must learn what made these victories so great and what made these made the campaign a failure before we begin fighting them again. That'll be good. Yes. I'm trying to speed things up a little bit so we can get some more guns, because we need more guns right now, definitely. So we can do this, so we can uh, organize an uprising to secure Transylvania. That is the most important thing. Uh, Acceptance has been guaranteed. Very good, and we will declare readiness for war eventually for these guys. Even though we might consider waiting just a little bit. Ooh, there goes Italy. They're on fire, and I like Italian fires. Very nice. Actually, uh, from what I know about this, we actually want to move these guys up to the front line. Because we need these guys to move very quickly once we go to war with Hungary and Austria and all of them. Now, the comment from yesterday was, kind of, Romania is a land of artillery lovers. You can't prove me wrong. We love artillery here in Romania, which is a great thing. And also, I'm going to save up a lot of political power for the future. Um, yeah, uh, let's see. Take two states in southern Galicia and Alfold in Hungary. So, someone wants me to take Alfold, which is what happens, I think, in Führerreich, that Romania takes this, which is kind of crazy. But definitely take out what we know as Bukovina. So, take these two states when we win the war, hopefully against Austria-Hungary. That just makes sense for us to take them. Cool, this first industry three. Let's go ahead and grab... This. It's ahead of time, but it's only 42 days, which is very good. Uh, someone also recommend that we just use straight up mainly infantry, artillery, and mountaineers. Way ahead of you. That's the plan. That's been the plan for a while, so that's what we're going to do. We definitely need more artillery. Holy cow. We definitely need a lot of guns, too. Hmm, big sad face. Uh, grab some more of this first. That's fine. Cool. Uh, someone wants me to reveal my cats more on this channel, like my cats Pinky or Snuggles. Cool. Maybe I will eventually. We'll see what happens. You know, maybe I'll do some more. Maybe just post a good picture. Not some crappy picture, but some good pictures of my cats. Uh, and someone also recommends I play Legionary Romania next time, either using this focus tree and doing Legionary Path, or use a Kaiserreich Romania improvement mod um, in the future. Maybe. I don't know. I never knew about that uh, mod, but maybe we'll use it. Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. But we might. I have no idea. Cool. And you need a general. Let's get the guy who's defensive. Ooh. Eon would be pretty good, but Flor Floria, Tenescu, yes, please. Good, 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 as we're just kind of sort of waiting here, waiting to get more guns and strength for everyone. We definitely need more artillery for these guys. Support equipment-wise, we're not looking good. I think it's time for us to boost up our cavalry divisions. That'll be nice, yeah. These ones, 12 combat width is just not going to cut it. It's just not. There you go, 16 combat width, which is better. Still not great, but it makes him stronger. Which is a very, very good thing. Organize the uprising good. Now, resistance here in Hungary should be, or is, lowering probably. That's disappointing, it is. Ugh. Uh, bleed our enemies dry. Yes, let them come to us across the treacherous mountain passes. We will greet them with lead and steel from our guns. We will bleed them dry before they can take even a single Romanian life. This time, they will be the one to foot the bill for the war for national reunification. Yes, yes, they will. You got plenty of motorized, though. Holy cow. We only have one factory down there, which is... Mm, that's not bad, but still. 
Keep training, guys. Do what you have to do to make sure that we are good to go whenever the war begins. Because once the war begins, it's going to be, as some might say, hell. And that's okay. That's the way it should be. That's absolutely the way that it should be. Yeah, we can't do Transylvania Ultimatum, which really sucks, but that's okay. Come on. I need more resistance here. Please. More resistance. At least it's not dropping there. Even in Banat? It looks like it's holding. Widespread pro-Romanian separatism, huh? Very cool. Oh, peace conference. And that is with the... Ah, Ottoman Empire. Good. The Ottomans have won. I will play as the Ottoman Empire someday. I'm not sure when in Kaiserreich. I already have the thumbnails technically already made by the time this video comes out. But someday we will play as the Ottoman Empire in Kaiserreich. Just not very soon. Oh, and Sudan has been released. Alright, well, whatever. Go ahead and do that. It's not that much ahead of time. This is a bad idea doing... Bad idea doing it like this. Here comes Arabia. Does Sudan have a unique focus tree? I kind of doubt that they would. Yep, they do not have a unique focus tree. Neither does Arabia under Abdulaziz. Abdullah says. Abdullah says. Have a good time. Listen to Abdullah. Cool. Yeah, this is going to be dangerous. This is going to be not good. But with the way this works, is that we get all of basically Transylvania because of everything that we've done so far. We get to push him pretty far into Hungary early on, but I think the trick is just to not call Serbia into the war, because Serbia, it doesn't look like it's really ready for war, especially if Bulgaria does stuff, which is not good. We gotta be ready for Bulgarians as well, so yeah, you never know, since Bulgaria was pissed off last time, since we took some lands, some rightful lands off of, for us, but you know what, we have our finest hour here, what a childish fantasy, and I believe they did, yep, they did join the Reichspact, which is... Not good if we're the Belgrade Pact. We are surrounded by the Rocks Pact. And it looks like the Entente's not doing well in the Dominion of India, which is okay. Yeah. I don't care for the Rocks Pact that much. I really don't. Or the Moscow Accord, too. Go Prosperity Sphere is looking okay. The United Provinces of China versus the Zili Clique. Looking kind of menacing. Kind of menacing. That's okay. They deserve to be. They definitely deserve to be. We're still total autocrats, which is nice. So we organize the uprising. And then we'll secure Transylvania, and we'll immediately go to war. But right now, we're just trying to stockpile guns. Because once war breaks out, let's be real. Happy 1939, by the way. Uh, it's going to be just terrible, probably. Oh, that's a little bit ahead of time. We're do still doing that. That's okay. 100 days. Less than 100 days. Might as well get better artillery, because we want to just wallop everyone who we come into conflict with. So much artillery. We need even more. Union Day? I love it. Union Day is worth it. I do want to get Maloxa 2 as soon as possible. That helps us with... Civilian factory construction speed, which is okay, but helps us with infrastructure, industrial research speed, so that's really good to get. High altitude training. So, the peaks and narrow passes of the Carpathians will inevitably become a battlefield again. Ski troops have proven to be instrumental in this type of terrain, and we must ensure that we have soldiers trained in this difficult and specific method of warfare. Very good. Very good. We have about less than a month for this. High society contacts. Uh, actually, I'll be honest with you, I've played this once already, off-screen, just to see what happens. And if actually, if I select High Society Contacts, we actually lower our influence. So I'm not going to choose that. That wouldn't be very good for us. That really wouldn't. How much artillery do we have? Not much. Throw more guns on here. We need very strong cavalry. Very, very strong cavalry. Uh, armor division would be nice here. Still a 20 combat with. Not bad. The Russian Empire. Not bad. Infantry Division 2. Mm, we can't really afford that. What would happen if I raise this up to this? We would just need more motorize and a little bit more fuel, but we can afford that, actually. That might not be bad, because we have plenty of motorize, and that could give us a better recon bonus, but it's only by 0.5, so it's not really that much better. But I'm disappointed we don't have engineers yet. I should have researched engineers by now. Hmm. Once we're done with advanced machine tools, we'll get engineers, maybe. We just need more support equipment. Iron Guard expands. Whatever. There's nothing I can do about that. That'd be good. Oh, yes. And like I said before, I played this off screen a little bit, so I kind of already have a good feeling what might happen. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. Please, everyone stop training. And I'm definitely going to need you for this. Good. If we have these guys already, it's 1939. We don't even have that either, really. That's a little annoying, not going to lie. Main focus will be engineers next.
Come on, can we do this? Not yet, we got two days, and then we'll do this. Oh, there goes Alash Orda. Secure Transylvania. So, war for Transylvania. The final rectification of the humiliating Treaty of Bucharest is upon us. It is us to up now. Up, up to us now to liberate Transylvania from the oppression and bring back fellow Romanians back into the fold. We shall never surrender. We must be ready to go. Oh, we actually have some planes here, too. These are not going to last very long whatsoever, so... Better use them while we have them. Transylvania Revolt. So, our many operations across the Carpathians have borne fruit. With the Romanian National Party in Hungary in support and our arms having reached the right hands, Transylvania is in open revolt against their oppressors. The Carpathian passes are completely open to our troops, and we will link up with friendly volunteers as we begin the final liberation of the Romanian nation. To arms! And there you go. See? Exactly what I knew what would happen. And we get a couple divisions here, which are nice... But I might just throw them with this group. Because Bulgaria might, wink wink, nudge nudge, go to war with us. You guys, as much as I want to use you, join this one big front. Go, go, go. You guys, get up to the front line as well. I'll go right there maybe and do that. U7, be led by this guy. Field Marshal, maybe we'll see what happens. If anything, actually, you guys come here. There you go. That might be better, actually. Cool. Go right ahead. Go right ahead. Uh, you guys are poised to go. Let's go. Illyria, Carpathian military plan. So, our secret reconnaissance missions across the Carpathians have been an instrumental success to the general staff. We've been planning the invasion for a long time. Our scouts have been able to create accurate and up-to-date maps for the area, including the air enemy's presence, which will help commanders on the field navigate the treacherous terrain. Collaborators have already been con contacted and allies within Transylvania are already monitoring enemy troop movements. These factors have led to detailed plans being ready for the invasion and will give us an immeasurable advantage in the upcoming months. Good. There goes Illyria. Come down here and cut him off. Please cut him off. Please cut him off. Go, 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 go. Oh. And a pact of war. Now that we're at war, we need to stand shoulder to shoulder with Serbia. I don't want to call them in because that could be really bad for us. Good. War economy. Good. Build one of those and then build more military factories when you're done. Just one. Just one for now. Bohemia. Cool. Ooh, we won't be throwing there. Yeah. Save that division if you can. Save that division if you can. Save that division if you can. Get to the line. Come on. Move, 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 move. We're doing okay here, which is nice for now. Until they attack us like crazy. And we have minus 0% stability. Hmm. The Green Prince returns home. So the Mota Marin Legionary Corps has returned home to Bucharest with a hero's welcome. Prince Alexandru Kantazukuno marches at the head of the Corps in triumph. The Green Prince brings back not only glory, but precious experience for the Legion, having secured an ideological ally on the continent. Good. Another division. Going down here. Good. Beat them up so they can't do anything. Here we're sort of not winning, sort of we are. Good, push him back. And then you guys are pretty much done doing that. Good. You two, hang out. Because we have to be prepared. I want to attack, but we gotta save on guns for now. Yeah, just don't attack there yet. Nice. Help out here. Get the horses in there, too. Uh, don't worry about attacking that, guys. Do not worry about that whatsoever. Oh, definitely help here, though. That'll be good. And these infantry, I think, are only six combat with, which really sucks. Let's make some convoys for now. We don't have enough nearly, nearly enough naval XP, so... Good, that's good. Do not call in Serbia because you never know what might happen. Good, push them down, push them through. I want them to attack my line. That's one of my main goals right here. We're stretched pretty thin. I'm going to send half you guys here. The other half. I can't convert these guys, which really sucks. What do I have to do like that? 
My goal is to bait him in. Violence in the streets. Whatever. Oh, that's going to help us mount in training as well. Awesome. Let's do study the Legionnaires so we can eventually get some more manpower. So while these Legionnaire hooligans tend to irk the king more and more through their attempts at sidelining him and ruling alone, one cannot deny that their methods are quite useful. Ever king is to take his rightful place at the, at the fatherland's favorite son. We have to at least take a few pages from the playbook for our own ends. Good. That's smart. Learn from your enemies. We can always learn. Good, good, good. Immediately attack, though. Help out, help out. Help out. Help out. That'll be good. If we can encircle these folks, that would be awesome to destroy two Austrian divisions. And good, attack me. Good, 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 good. These are all cores, so we got more manpower too, and maybe a few more factories, which is awesome. Uh, we're doing that. Still need more military factories. You guys got this. Come on. Cut them off. Beautiful. Immediately begin attacking these two divisions. Oh, they did not like that. That there goes the Dominion of India, like I said earlier. Are they leaving? Man, if they're leaving, go right ahead. Or, I guess you have no orders. That sucks. Alright, if they want to leave, be my guest. A, we kill them off. That's beautiful. If that's the case, just combine these two armies together. That just makes it easier for everyone. Nice. Actually, I will get rid of one. There we go. See what you can do about that. Hang out for now. Straight to the line if we need to. Bait him into attacking us. Good. Ooh, yeah, I'll stop. You guys. Hang out. Don't worry about that. Cool, help out. Help out. Could we bait them in doing this? We might be able to. Oh, they caught us. God dang it. You might as well help out here, then. You might still be able to win. Maybe, maybe not. Come on, you guys got this? Yeah, they got this. They got this. Cool. So far, not bad. They really like attacking our lines, which is fine with me, actually. Totally fine. Ooh, they're even attacking us with tanks. Oh, wow. Fancy. We're out of guns. But not as nearly as many guns as I thought we would lose so far. Come on, you guys got this. Has anyone learned anything yet? Yes. We could really use infantry expert. We're going to go with ambusher, though. Even more entrenchment. They won't be able to pick us up out of our lines at all, then, at that point. Uh oh. Flag? No? Okay. Cool. Come on, we got this. We got this. National Swin in South Africa. We've lost 13,000, 14,000 versus 114,000. God dang, that's a lot. Come on, you got this. Come on, move, 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 move. Yes. Beautiful. Oh, we could attack right here. No, let him move, let him move first. Let him move. Oh, yeah, you know, fine. Can you win there, please? Oh, that's not good right there. Good, and now we're going to do Sentinels of the Fatherland to get 1% more recruited by population. So, ever understanding of the youth's role as the future of the country, the king has decided to set up a youth organization so as to more properly prepare them for adulthood and teach them the values and virtues of our great nation. These Sentinels shall live by the creed. Faith in God, King, Labor, Sacrifice, and in the Sentinels as a liaison of unity of the nation and its people. This is a little worrisome right here. Arad, uh, we cannot really afford to lose Arad, so we're going to do that. Good, bait him over the river. Bait him over. If we could win here, that'd be amazing. I kind of doubt that we could. So we can circle and destroy three enemy divisions, but... Yeah, it doesn't look like it's really worth it. Just go and hang out for now. Nice. About a thousand guns needed. Can someone please give me some more guns? I would really appreciate it. Our soldiers desperately need more guns. Uh, we need another general. Uh, he's pretty good in defense. And that's literally just for Bulgaria, because I don't trust Bulgarians one tiny bit. And neither should you. Grab that, because we're already in the field, and we need as much help as possible. Oh god, the Reichspact really doesn't like us. As long as no one calls anyone else into the war, we should be okay. Because when I played this off-screen, I called in Greece, who called in Serbia, who went to war with Bulgaria, and then Bulgaria's, of course, in the Reichspact. So that didn't work out so well for me. Okay, I dare bet. Cool. You guys have kind of given up. Whatever. 
lag. All oh, right, there's quite a bit of lag. Wow. And up oh, the minion was just annexed, straight up annexed. You are probably learning a lot. As long as we get more green, I'm good with that because we killed about a quarter million soldiers of the enemy. We don't have to. They don't have to die. But uh, a lot. There's a lot of dead Austrians. Look at that. Over a hundred thousand. Not bad. The Agrarian Revolt. All right. So let's take a look here. So Austria. We have a little bit of manpower left. Bohemia. Manpower. Hungary has none. We're fighting a much larger force than. Oh wow! Look at that. They are dying. Please don't lose. Please, 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 please. Hold on. Please hold on. Try to help him out if you can. Anywhere else. I really need to send our horses away. Somewhere else. Please. Just to bait the enemies in. I might just do this real quick. Oh, wait. No. Wrong group. Wrong group. They won't make it there in time anyway, so... Don't lose that tile. Oh, we almost lost that one. Oh, boy. We fought too long and hard for that. Come on, get over there. Get over there. Get over there. Hold it. Hold it. I know it sucks fighting like this. Last stand is actually going to probably be even more detrimental to us than what we hoped for, but whatever. That's a necessary evil. Uh, send in the army. Get some more stability, please. I really like more stability. Good. Send in these guys, too. That's why we sent the horses, and that's why we left here, so we can bait them into attacking us more, 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 more. Guns? We're doing better on guns. Better than I thought we would. Oh, man, look at that strength. That is not good. Uh, good, good so far. Industrial development. So, there's more to industrialization than building more factories. Equipment and tools have to be bought, made, or modernized to prove efficiency. Therefore, we must invest in new industrial technologies in a world of con constant development and invention in order for Romanian industry to stay competitive and worthwhile. 79. What else we do here? Uh, research. Let's do this one first. Come on, get in there. Get in the fray. Good. Holding out so far pretty nicely. Uh, 300,000 enemies have died. Not enough. I'm really disappointed that Serbia does not have more soldiers. This, is, this doesn't make any sense. Why don't you have more soldiers, Serbia? Please get more soldiers. Wear them out. Oh god, now they're all attacking here. Petra, you've really got to be learning quite a bit, aren't you? Yep, he's almost an organizer, which is good. He's almost an infantry leader himself. Which is quite ideal, actually. And this group is looking better than it did earlier. Oof. It's almost an infantry leader. I think I might make him an ambusher, but maybe not. Probably more division attack, since he can hold out pretty well on defense. Good. Good. More guns. We just need more guns for now. I can make better guns, but we need more fighters. Uh, we're not really in the market for building this for now. Especially not close air support, so do that for now. Get one more steel if we can. I love Russia. Thank you, Russia. Thank you for your support. You know what? Let's go and do that. 25. Oh, oh, that even... Oh, that even, oh, that takes even more steel? Come on, man. Oh, that's not good over here. There's only four divisions. You guys can hold out, right? Please hold out. For the love of God, please, 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 please hold out. Get down here, retreat into here so we can help defend. Oh, nice. Can we build maybe something more here? Maybe more military factories? That'd be good. Don't build it there. That's a, uh, don't build it there. Build it there. There you go. Good. We're holding out. We're at least holding out. That's nice. Called in nobody. We've done this all by ourselves. We lost 40,000 Romanians versus over 400,000 enemies. That is pretty darn nice. Hungry. Do you have manpower? Oh, God. We no longer get that. That sucks. They're out of manpower. And they're still only on limited conscription. You guys have plenty. You guys have plenty. Agrarian scene Calcutta. Huh. They're still attacking over here, which is nice. We could probably advance through here. Actually, fairly okay-ish. Go ahead and retreat. Which is not good, but this is what we have to do. Oh. Hi, Darabad. Wow, you guys split it in two. Cool. Uh, why does... Does no one love me? Why, why, why can't I get any help? All of Barcelona. Like, R R Russia doesn't care. The Entente doesn't care. Why does no one want to help us? We're lovable. I swear we're lovable. Industrial development. Good. Malaxa. So, 
Nicole Malakta is perhaps the most successful Romanian industrialist and certainly one of the wealthiest and well-connected. By supporting his endeavor with the Malakta company, we will certainly be awarded with financial and industrial support, which could prove critical in fur further developing Romania's economy. Good. And we get another civilian workshop for company. Good. Play too much Old World Blues to keep calling them workshops. We need it. At least have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight divisions on the line to defend our lands. Any other soldiers we make will be going to the front line. Because I just, like I said, do not trust Bulgaria, and you shouldn't either. So now the line is at a stalemate, which sucks quite a bit. Mongolia's gone. Good. Less lag. I like that. If I were to attack, it'd probably be right here, but even then. Oh, the Germans are over there. That's not good. Stability not looking good either. Iron Guard expands. Whatever. Send in the army for more stability, that's fine. We're about to have this, which is good. Ah, good, another division. Awesome. Uh, three on the main line. Maybe we could do something here, maybe not. And then we'll throw some soldiers over here as well. Oh my gosh, we need so much more manpower. Yeah, there's really nowhere I can attack. Do we have any surplus of... Oh my gosh, no, we don't have surplus of that at all. We need so many more guns and artillery pieces. Those tanks are not looking good, though. Up here. One to one. We might find success this way. We might. Nice. Help them out. Help them out. This would help short the line a little bit more. Push these guys up. If you could push up to here, that'd be quite good. Cut them completely off. Nice. Cool. Compromise with the guard. Now we good. Integrated support. Awesome. Regimental combat teams. Very good. I need to push these guys over here too, but we just don't have the support we need for it yet. Ugh. There's too many divisions around here. Militia would be good to kill off. They're literally just militia. I could stretch up the line maybe here. If we could push fast enough to get over to here maybe. Especially the militia help attack and infantry as well. Yeah, looks like so far so good. Come on, you guys got this. Oh, we're getting attacked over here, which is fine. No worries, no worries. Pope is fighting for his life in Rome. That's not good. But I, I can't be distracted by that stuff. Oh, my goodness. Good. Get over here so we can encircle. Good. We've encircled them. Immediately begin attacking. Don't move. You are not allowed to move. You cannot. No, don't move. Don't move. What are you doing? What are you doing, Sonny? Kill them off. Kill them off. Kill them off. The faster you kill them off, the faster we can reinforce this part of the line. The all says ultimatum. Good. The world is on a precipice. Let the world go to crap. Good! Distract him. So now Germany cannot send divisions this way. The Second Valkyrie War is hell. We did it. We killed them off here. That's actually really good. I did not think we'd be able to do that. Violence in the streets? No one gives a crud about that right now. Why do you still have violence in the streets? Doesn't make any sense. We are currently at war with an enemy. Can we not unite to kill these guys off? Hmm. Attacking down south just won't cut it. We actually attack here. Um... Are you guys... There's... You can't move down here. Good, we got Malaxa. Good, 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 good. Refine the refineries. Uh, we could get that. Expend more than grain? Sure. So, in order for the remaining economy to thrive in a world of markets, diversification is the best way to create a solid national economic foundation. This will ensure that Romania's economy is no longer at the mercy of the grain market and its fluctuating prices. More civilian factories? Yes, please. Go ahead, you guys. Concentrate your forces here. We are going to begin to assault. This area. You can't move down here. There's a impassable terrain, guys. Keep trying. Keep trying. But it's not going to happen. Denmark joined the Reichs back. Cool. Help you build peace out. And with Bulgaria doing what they're doing, we might actually move soldiers away from the Bulgarian border, but we'll see what happens. Get ready. Get these guys on the line. These guys are having some sort of schizophrenic attack. Holy crap. That's that's not easy on the eyes. Woo! We're still mobilizing. We're not. Ooh. I don't want to do this. I really don't want to do this. Because I need as much industrial output as possible. Let's do with Malaxa first. Okay. Good. Really don't want to attack here. But it seems like we must. And they're going to attack us while we're attacking them. So be it. So be it. Even more military factories. Good. Can we win here? We are slowly maybe winning? Please. Please. Come on. Come on. Come on. You've got this. Infantry expert. Oh, logistics wizard is so good. We gotta do that one too. Uh, what happened there? Did someone go to war with someone else? Please tell me no. Please, for the love of God, tell me no. Did Greece do anything? 
No, they're, they're still peace. They're fighting other people. Good. Good. Get over here so we can help you do that as well. Okay, you know what? I'm going to send happy guys this way too. Come on. We, if we can encircle four divisions, that'd be amazing. Oh, peace conference? That's what I thought. Help him out, help him out. Good. Good. We've got this, we've got this. We gotta believe in artillery. You gotta. Nice. Good luck, God. I, yeah, we've gotta raise conscription level. It's too low right now. Do that too. Save on manpower just a little bit. Come on. Come on. 88. 91. He's becoming a ranger, that's nice. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Beautiful. Uh-oh. Oh, we lost a convoy. Oh, that's not good. Let's grab it from Burma. We love the Burmese. Alright, well, that looks okay. Cool. Now, we're not going to attack yet. I want everyone to get situated first. I want these guys to struggle first against us, because I don't want to, you know, waste manpower or guns, since we don't have any extra. So we got to wait a little bit. They've done... They're not attacking us anymore. Except that they, we kind of pissed them off. So, oh, they finally joined the 3rd International. Good, 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 good for you. Spread these guys out a little bit more. So now we have a solid front line. Which will be a great thing. Come on. Weaken yourselves even more. All right, horses and militia. Have a good time. Attack them in the rear. Get rid of these folks. Because now we're going to reshuffle our line around. We have a bigger line that we can use. Which is awesome. Really awesome. Boom. Cool. I'm actually going to take these guys out. Put you under here. Because now you're going to form one big old front line. That was actually really good. I can't believe we actually did that. Cool, but unfortunately, that's all the time I unfortunately have for today, my friends. If you enjoyed today's episode, consider uh, leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow when we will beat the Austrians and watch the Reichs Pact and the Third International clash with each other. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great rest of your day.